Morning all. Yeah, it's been a while, I know. I uh, took a bit of a break from uh, YouTube and uh, just had a lot of work going on. It was uh, winter time and uh, really wet. <laughs> um, so yeah, but did a few major projects and um, one of the biggest projects uh, I'd ever taken on. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll throw a couple of photos here and there. Um, <laughs> But yeah, basically that, that uh, big project was uh, about a month in the making and uh, about a month in the action. <clears throat> Still sort of ongoing, but um, it's just a staged, progressive job. So that involved basically digging out uh, a house pad and dropping in 1,500 tonnes of rock uh, and then uh, compacting it all and inspections, blah, blah, blah. So yeah. Um, I'll throw a couple of photos here. There you go. And um, yeah, so there was that one. There was uh, digging a, a, a very large pit on the uh, the same site for a septic tank. A uh, metre and a half of solid sort of basalt uh, granite rock, uh, hard, so, so hard. I mean, I had a, there was a 12 tonne digger, I think, there with a 12 tonne breaker on it. Um, and yeah, it, it took three days to punch through that, plus the groundwater coming in. It was just insane. It was probably one of the most challenging jobs I think I've ever had on the frustration level uh, was uh, way up there somewhere so yeah so that was good fun but um, yeah our uh, job today take you over there so I'm going to take you along on uh, is basically this bucket's worn out um, still probably got a little bit of life in it uh, but you know the tilt and everything's good on it um, but this is the other bucket that actually came with the machine uh, when I bought it. This bucket has probably 2,500 hours on it. The bottom's getting quite thin. Um, you know, and every time I sort of do any kind of work, it, it just sort of bulges <coughs> that way or that way. Um, the front uh, cutting edge is getting also quite rounded. Um, so it's hard to do any grading work with it so whereas this bucket's good it holds a whole lot more volume um, so yeah so what we're going to do is chop these two ears off take these pins out um, and I can use that on a project somewhere else um, and then basically I'm just going to um, chop through here straight down that line and uh, same on the other side basically just take this whole section and weld that on there so um, I'm not sure I think my angles are actually looking at it's about right um, but I'll be sitting this section sort of back up and in, in here if you can understand that um, so yeah, so, so that'll be that. We went into uh, level four lockdown. Um, uh, when? Tuesday? No, Wednesday. No, what day is it? I don't even know what day it is. Uh, Wednesday, I believe. So um, yeah, so we're sort of, I think by, no, Wednesday night we went into lockdown. So then Tuesday, uh, we were supposed to be three days up here. Auckland was a week. Um, and it's the uh, the delta strain that we're getting at the minute. So anyway, so anyway, I'm gonna find something to do around here. I can't just um, be faffing around. Might as well do something with my day. So we're gonna end up uh, stripping this bucket off, and um, yeah, start cutting. See what happens, eh?
Okay, that fought me. Um, all right, there it is all cleaned up. Uh, ready to go. I've got just a couple of dead gouges here. I'll just weld those up uh, when I weld that, that section on. So now we're going to chop that section off. Um, I don't think I'll bother filming that. I'll just do it because there's going to be a whole lot of sparks and screaming and probably some swearing and uh, some more swearing so yeah I'll do that I'll get that uh, cut off and placed on here and we'll bring you back <laughs> Right, there it is. So, the idea Kind of sitting around about where I want it. Um, I might uh, push it back. That a smidge. It's actually sliding forward at the minute anyway. Up onto that ridge, which is actually fine. Up into there. Um, now the only thing I'm concerned about is just collecting dirt and shit in there, but what we do. Um, can't imagine that's going to be a issue too much. Um, I'm going to basically just blank off these ends in here. There's a bit of a gap there just so underneath there's no rust. But yeah, kind of nice. I don't actually need to grind anything out of this area for this plate. Um, it actually looks like they almost dished it a little bit. Um, because there's no flex on that whatsoever so hey happy days um either that or that's bent uh but whatever it uh works for me so so that's cool so i'm going to grind up uh the paint ground the paint and shit off here uh same on the other side and uh then it's just going to be a whole lot of welding so we'll see how we go all right we'll bring you back when we're uh i don't know closer Okay, oh, that was a lot of welding <laughs> for my little uh, 160 amp inverted non-gas MIG. I could have done it with stick, but I, uh, my stick's pretty old and it could be pretty wet. Sorry, a bit of weldy stuff up the nose. Uh, so there you go. Um, Double welded all the way around, a few overloads and uh, stuff. So, and the trick to uh, making welds look welds look good is um, put enough paint on them, and they'll look magic. I mean, that's not going to go anywhere. That is uh, well and truly attached to that bucket uh, through and through. So. Uh, it's pretty good and actually the other trick um, that I've learned is um, while your welds are hot 
chuck shit shit ton of paint on it and the paint will actually um, adhere to the metal in into the metal almost um, and it never rusts so and the, and the paint never peels off it's like it's become one with the metal so anyway um, all right so I'm gonna put all this uh, stuff back together and um, we'll see how she rocks and rolls being a tilt bucket and all Face. Remember that? Um, no, I'm happy with that. I like it. Um, I like the angle on it too. Uh, it is a little bit heavier than the other one by, I don't know, 10 or 20 kilos maybe. Don't, not sure really. Um, 
I know the whole bucket probably weighs about 70 or 80 all up I suppose so happy days but no that's basically a brand new tilt bucket so that's good all right thanks for uh thanks for watching and um yeah we'll get some more videos out uh, a bit more regularly now um and uh get back to work